Over the last year and a half, organizations and community groups have had to modify their programs in order to adhere to COVID-19 restrictions. Now, unfortunately for some of these groups, this caused a decline in things like memberships, participants, partnerships. But for the Milton Navy League cadets, it's done quite the opposite. The Milton Navy League Cadets is a brand new program that has seen growth this past year. Serving kids 9 to 12, programs had to be modified because of the pandemic. Commanding Officer Lieutenant Paul Seamus says they had to think outside the box. We started in, uh, on the 17th of January 2020 and then eight weeks later as we were starting to launch and train the cadets, COVID hit and then we had to, uh, to remove everything uh, online and that was a, a difficult transition because everything that we teach is hands on like the knots and the sailing and things on. So how do we transform everything into online? So we, we did a lot of um, uh, we try to, to create clever ideas uh, from the delivery of the program. So uh, we, we sort of threw the formality out and we started addressing cadets by their first name and we re reduced from three hours to just one and we uh, appeal to them to what interests them. And it certainly paid off when the Navy Lee cadets launched. They started with 27 members. Now there are 65. Seamus says the success of their program really came down to providing a personal approach, even in a virtual setting. For example, one of the things that we do, we give them ranks and so on. Normally when we hear, we address them by the ranks. But we threw that out the window at this time and we decided to just call them by their names and interact with them. And we actually got to know them a lot better than we would if we were here. So we got to know them individually. So when they come on, on board, we say on board, right? Because we're a ship. So when they come on board virtually and we celebrate when they come in, we call all their names, hey, Jago, how's it going? And then Jago spins in his chair and we get to see that. And we, we, uh, we changed the approach to be less of the rank system, but more of the personal system. We, we treat them with care and, and we allow them to speak. Sometimes they want to, hey, sir, can I show you a presentation? Did a school? Absolutely, show us. And we all learn something new, so it's great. It's been a lot of fun. So as we start the process of a post-pandemic world, Seema says the program will be able to do more than they had originally intended. Now we have this wonderful ability to do with technology uh, to reach out to cadets. So uh, we plan to have uh, summer camps day camps uh, we will do them online or in person or both depending on what they want uh, and the same when we return we will do the uh, the sailing and the navigation everything that we're supposed to do but we're also going to talk about rockets and we're also going to do lots of uh, crafts and things like that that we did during the pandemic so the program is a lot of fun for the kids and for the adults as well adults can get involved we have uh, you know adults that that are uh, responsible for all the uh, fundraising activities and, and the management of the unit or become one of the officers, but also for the cadets. So we, can, we, we hope to have parent and child have a lot of fun with us. If you want to learn more about the Milton Navy League cadets and the programs they offer, you can always go to their website at nlccadventure.ca or you can always connect with them through their social media pages on Facebook and Twitter. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.